Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I can't hear you, you're in mute. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm really tired, but uh, I'm ready to, to, to learn more English. All right, good. What did you do today? Um, I work in Perkin Morazan. Do you know where, where it is, Perkin? Yes, I think I do. It's near San Miguel. What did you do, accountability? Hello, Hello, Moises. How are you? Hello, oh, teacher. Everything okay? How are you? Uh, hot. It's hot today. Yes, yes, that is. But uh, nowadays, uh, it is strange because some days have been uh, fresh or, or cool. What is the word? Fresh or cool? It's been cool. Mm -hmm. It's been cool. Uh, I think that we are uh, finished. Finish, finishing the world because the weather is very crazy nowadays. The world is ending. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think that that is very possible because the, the weather uh, can uh, finish the humanity, the, the, the humanity. Yes. The mankind. Maybe it's, it could be true. Um, there's Anna. Hello, Anna. How are you? Okay. Okay, let's start. Um, well, we finished yesterday. Let's wait maybe two more minutes to see what happened to Anna. Okay. And the rest of the class. Yes. <laughs> maybe they have internet issues. Yeah, I think everybody is because Evaristo, at the beginning we were talking and he disconnected. Now he's back. Anna maybe yeah. disconnected. <laughs> okay, please hold. Internet uh, ha have been yes. failing all the day. It's true. In my job, that that's what happened. Yes. Uh, and more if you have a Tigo connection. I always hear about Tigo and it's good, it's bad, and claro. Yes. In, uh, in my case, where in my house, there are Tigo connections. And, and uh, some days is very stable. What is the word for stable? Stable, stable okay. And, and some days there are a lot of problems with connection. But you say you live by El Estadio Cusatlan, right? Yes, yes. So you live in, in La Cima, no? No, uh, Colonia Luz. Where is that? Uh, in front of Colonia. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. We are almost neighbors. Yes. Yes, I remember. Uh, do you live near here? Yeah, I live in, uh, in Vista Hermosa. Oh, okay, very good. 
but my 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 in-laws my brother-in-law he lives in montserrat okay do you know carlos avelar no yeah, no no oh, okay um he was a friend of mine he used to live there okay oh, okay colonia luz yeah i know colonia luz it is a a, a hot neighborhood <laughs> it is mm -hmm. yeah yeah because hey, but sometimes I hate your colonia. Why? <laughs> I think it's in April. No. Or December or January. Las celebraciones de Colonia Luz. Ah, okay. For the Holy Week? No. No. Um, I remember a long time ago, I used to live in, in when my wife, we used to live in Montserrat and the Fiesta Patronales, I think. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my God, but they went in la Montserrat, la Avenida Montserrat, okay, Montserrat, at three or four in the morning with cuetes on yeah. a Monday, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, and like and with music, dang, 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 dang. <laughs> I said that is oh man, I hated that because at four in the morning. Yes, Catholic people are very uh, proud of their tradition. <laughs> yes, I imagine. Yeah. One time I spoke with the priest, Juan Sacerdote. Hey, okay. And I say, why do you do that? Because it's the tradition. Okay, but you know, you could do that at six in the in the afternoon. You know, maybe people would be happy as the saldría a ver, you know, like, hey, nice. But at four in the morning, people work, mister. Yeah. <laughs> Some people can, can be scared about that. A kind of situation if, if you don't know what is happening. Babies, imagine the babies. I remember my son was was a um, he was a baby, and then when that started, and the music, and he started crying. Right. And you know when babies wake up, they don't go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to practice listening today. Let me share my screen with you. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Nice. All right, let's do. So it says here, listen, listen to the conversation, check the correct answers. Okay, so let's do this. One. Can you hear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Mom, when did you get your first car? Well, by the time I was a junior in high school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight. Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? 
Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. 3. Gosh, Tess, have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. Sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. And it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. Hello. Hello, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was on mute again. I was, I'm sorry. I was speaking in mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So before Patrick's mom finished high school, what did she do? Uh, teacher, I, I have a question. What, what exercise are you doing? Oh, hold on. Let me go back. We are here. This is the three. Is three point twelve. Okay. Actually, three point nine. Sorry, but wait, wait. Where are we? It's a midterm test or exam. I'm sorry, you're right. I'm sorry, we are in 3.9. I'm so, well, lo hice para ver si se daban cuenta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry about that. I was, I was, okay. I'm sorry. En situaciones así uno puede decir, my bad. My, my bad. My mis or my mistake. Yes, I mean that, that would be the formal, but you can also say my mistake, my bad. Okay, so let's listen to the vocabulary reactions. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's listen to the young lady here. Be sure. Pass. How do you sure. react when someone Yes. You didn't the three point seven knowledge check. Or, or we have to do it uh, alone. Wait, I'm sorry. You are right. We are here. Look, the last green check was here. Yeah. We're in the knowledge check. You're right. Okay, instructions. Complete the conversation. You know why? I don't have my glasses. And um, I am worried because I don't know where my glasses are. <laughs> so let me see. Let me bring this closer. But if you want to, or if you need the, your glasses, you can go for, for, for it. Oh, no, thank you. No, that's the problem. I don't know where they are. Okay, okay. Oh, but thank you. I'm thinking, I hope, I hope they are in my office. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so it says instructions. Complete the conversation using the past models with the verbs given. You may use could have 
would have, should have, or its negatives. Do you, oh, I'm sorry, do not need to type everything, only the past modal with the verbs in the correct form. So number one, it says, I invited my boyfriend over to meet, excuse me, to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked messy. Well, he could have dressed. Okay. Who so have dressed? He could have dressed neatly. I have I have um an uncle and my uncle is very masculine, being macho, macho, right? <laughs> and my cousin, she has a boyfriend. But in my opinion, in my personal opinion, it's not her boyfriend. He's like her best friend forever. <laughs> and yes, because he's very, very feminine. You know, like he, he he plugs, and that's okay, but he plugs his eye 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 um eyelashes, but some men they pluck it normal. He really plucks it like early, and he puts a little makeup on on it in acne. So I tell my cousin, and I said, "Do you love him?" Oh yes, he's so beautiful. Are you sure he's your boyfriend? So um, my my cousin, she says, yes, le voy a pedir permiso a mi tío. Oh, man, quiero estar ahí. So on Saturday, this boy is going to go to my uncle's house to ask for permission. With popcorn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to visit. Um, my uncle that day, you know, just casualidad, I'm visiting, and oh, hello, Eric. Oh, this is your boyfriend. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the reaction of, on my on my uncle's face. Y después le puedo decir, hey, he could. I I can tell my cousin Erica, he could have dressed more masculine. <laughs> Pero mi prima creo que no entiende indirectas porque le digo. Because, uh, how, pantalones, huh? how yeah. old is she? 21. 21. I think that uh, women nowadays have a, one, or one a typical taste about men. About feminine men. Yes, they, they, they have uh, a lot of. Uh, information about uh, internet that they they look uh, handsome a man that seems like a woman. Yes, and you know why? It's because Cristiano Ronaldo started that. And and I don't, I don't know if you know uh, that kind of of uh, Korean pop bands. Oh yeah, K-pop. My case, I have a lot of students that they say, "Oh, that's a real man, and this is a, a, a handsome man." Yes, things like that. And, and, and if you look for for the photos or, or whatever the the videos, uh, man, that that that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you need to look very careful. It's like, is that a man or a woman? Oh, it's a man. Yeah, I understand. I, I get you. That's true. I think that this this situation makes that men, uh, men in the future are going to have a big problem looking for a, a, a pareja. Looking for, for a partner. Looking for a girl. 
because the girls want a, a boy that seems like a woman. <laughs> yes, and but you know, I, I think it's only for men because I don't see a lot of women masculine. Yes, yes. I see more men that have a, like a feminine side. Yes. But I can't wait for Saturday. I want to see that. <laughs> Yeah, I told my cousin Erica, okay, so I'm going to eat lunch at my uncle's because I want to see his face, his reaction, like, because this, this man, I, I met him maybe two times, but he is very, very, very feminine, like, and you know, I get all this. You know, I want to tell him it's okay. You know, it, it's okay, but don't pretend to be something you're not. Yeah. Because my cousin loves you. Yeah. They both, the, the two, they love Ed Sharon, Sharon, whatever his name is. Imagine in his car he has an Ed Sheeran CD. A pop man. Yeah, yeah, he's a pop. A man. new fashion teacher. It's a new modern fashion <laughs> because yeah, many younger uh, boys use that uh, according to the maybe an actor or uh, uh, maybe a, a soccer player. Uh, Boys um, like um, them, and I follow that fashion. And I use the clothing, and maybe I cut her or his hair according to that. Yeah, maybe that's true. That's true. But on Saturday, when my when my cousin is crying. <laughs> I will tell her, you know, he should have dressed more formal. No, I mean, there's a difference between not understanding. Yeah. Okay, so B, I blank ask him to wear something nicer. I good have, have asked. Ask. Or should I should have asked? I have. Asked. Good. I would have asked. Okay, let's do that. I would have asked him to wear something nicer. Okay, next it says John borrowed my car and helped, and then hit it. Should have told. Should have told. When he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. Yes, dent. Dent is un camanance pero de carro. Lo que nosotros decimos tiene un camanance. You say the car has a little dent or a big dent. Okay. Yes. So okay. Uh, he should have told you, you said, right? Yes. Yes. He should have told you. Good. Oops. Well, I. Wouldn't I have learned. Wouldn't. Really, you put a wouldn't? Would it have, have lent? Oh man, excuse me. Let me change my keyboard.
I'm sorry, my keyboard is the Spanish version. My keyboard tiene la ñ, so everything moves, the, the symbols. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have lent it to him, okay? I am exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. She? Shouldn't have stayed. She shouldn't have stayed so late, good. You blank start yawning. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. <clears throat> you should have started yawning. Do you know what is yawning? <clears throat> yes. The verb is yawn. So Mary stayed very late. So it says, you should have started yawning. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Here's a hint, una pista. Un N, right? Hint, hint. Una pista, let me give you. Um, so maybe, you know, when you do this, and the other person still doesn't understand that you're tired. So that person has not gotten the hint. Okay. Hasta que uno diga, hey, ¿sabes qué? I'm sleepy. Goodbye. <laughs> Teacher, in this case, we can't use clue for pista. Clue. Yes, yes. Es que hint es como la indirecta, a hint. Here in the letter A, there are a, a S at the end of the sentence. Okay. Uh, and we, oh, we have to use only the verb. Oh, yeah. 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 The model bell. Thank you. You're right. Number four, Tom invited me to play, but I ended up paying for us both. I wouldn't have paid. Okay, or I shouldn't too. I have the last three, I have a graded vowel. I don't know why. Yeah, in my opinion, si, si alguien dijo wouldn't, salió bien, but it's, it's actually should. Should, okay. He not invite you if he was short of money. He shouldn't have invited him. Good. Hey, por estar yawning, hoy sí me dijo. Saben que la esencia no puede explicar eso. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so he shouldn't have. Bite it. Bite it. Bite it. Let's do it, and I know I have many wrong. Yeah, sabía. <laughs> ¿Por qué decían wouldn't? Me sorprendió que decían wouldn't porque no. Teacher, I in think the, that in this case, in the in the third one, you have in a, the contraction the, the apostrophe. The apostrophe. Apostrophe. The apostrophe. Yeah, but let me see one thing. Because I have, I wouldn't have lent, and it is good. Yes, 
Here's the answer. I'm exhausted. My these are the correct ones. Look, wouldn't have lent for number two. Number three is shouldn't have stayed. Number four is wouldn't have paid. Number four, A and B, wouldn't have paid A and B is shouldn't have invited. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, good, let's do the next. Teacher, in your, in your situation, you have to reset your keyboard. There are tutorials in YouTube that uh, show how to do it. Oh yes, you can do it here at the bottom corner. Okay. In the bottom corner is you can put English or Spanish, but still, the problem is that when it's a Spanish keyboard, everything changes, everything. So I prefer, like for example, I prefer an English keyboard and put Spanish, English, y no cambian los, los símbolos. In Spanish, yes. Yes, yes. All right. We, yes? we accent. And another thing is that in English, uh, they don't use. Yes, it's true. Okay, let me see what is next. Okay, let's, let's practice today about using reactions. All right, let's see. Someone forgets your birthday. Learn the following nouns for discussing reaction. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. What happens when he or she has an a warning? So, do you just I'm sorry, do you, you understand what is an assumption, correct? Uh, yes. Yes. The assumption comes from the verb assume. Like yesterday, remember some people, oh, wow, well, I don't remember, but I said it, that I, I, I imagine Mauricio Funes is, is uh, he's, not, he's not happy. Well, that's an assumption, maybe he's happy. <laughs> A criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, or a warning. Let's see what's next here. So let's say, so before we do this, an assumption. What is an assumption, Anna? An assumption. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. If you do it again, you will have to find a new person. Is an assumption is when the I don't know is 
correct with the girlfriend break up with the boyfriend okay does anybody uh, else uh, have a different a different meaning for assumption uh, i think that this is an assumption true because they uh, there are there is a, a uh this thing that we use if okay if um you have to do uh, blah 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 where's gabby remember gabby i don't know <laughs> maybe she's she's still working maybe. it's an assumption maybe. It's an assumption because she says that her job is terrible and it's her business. Yes. So when you say, where is Gabby? I don't know, maybe she's working. That is an assumption. I'm not positive, but I'm very sure. Next, we okay. have a criticism. That's similar in Spanish, right? Criticism? In Spanish. No, no, it's similar in Spanish, criticism, correct? Yeah. When you talk to someone, everything? No, criticism comes from criticize. The construction or negative criticism. Yes. Like, for example, El Faro. El Paro lives for criticism of the, um, the government. Do you okay. have El Faro? Yes. Do, you, do you have El Faro in La Prensa Gráfica too? I think, I think El Faro pronto va a poner dos días y no se sabe nada de Bukele. <laughs> Something like that because they, they, that's all they do. They just <laughs> criticize, criticize in every five minutes. Next, we have a demand. What is a demand? When you are a, when you are in a, in a mandatory mode, uh, solicitando. A, yes. Algo. Sí, solicitando es demanda, demandando. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, we can use a ask. Ask something. Yes, yes. But demand is like, I want it now, 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 now. Like that, obligation? Yes, that is demanding. Okay. Uh, like in El Salvador. The, what is the yeah. name for the people uh, who demand for everything? Feminists? <laughs> no, I think people that demand for everything are, are activists. Yes, activists. Like a complainer? Complainer? Yes. Okay. Yes. For example, Pepe Lapu. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so. Next, we have an excuse. An excuse. Sorry. Uh, when you are, you are not going to do one thing and you say, I, I, don't, I don't do this because I have to do this another thing. Yes. Oh, for example, Moises, if you are, imagine you're driving with your lover. Okay. And your ex girlfriend and, and your girlfriend now sees you, like, hey, 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 hey. she saw you in the car with your lover. Mm -hmm. So, Moises, you better have a good excuse. Yes. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, no, you can say, con quien? With Angela. Yes, I, wa I was eating lunch with Angela. 
She's ugly. Uh -huh. Angela is gay, sabías? Oh, <laughs> after Olympic. She, maybe, <laughs> maybe she's not. Yeah. But you know, when women, oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Siempre le Oh, she's my sister. No, because she's a girlfriend. Okay. I mean, Moises is with his lover in the car, and Moises' girlfriend saw him. So he can't say it's my sister because she knows my family. She knows, yes. Not so you have really. to say, yeah, you have to say that's Angela, man. She's still uh -huh. uh, Angela is a lesbian. Oh. So that's a good excuse. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm going to write it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we have a prediction. Future. Yes. Is related a prediction. Uh, you want me to give you a prediction? When you are guessing the future. Yes. Así como Arena and FMLN, remember? They predicted. They predicted, they predicted that they were going to win. Apoyo Masivo. <laughs> Next, we have a suggestion. We have a subscription and a warning. Okay, so number one. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What is that? A warning. A warning. An assumption. So once again, listen to that. If you do that again, you will have to find another girlfriend. Okay, next. I bet you are out with another woman. An assumption. Very good. An suspicion. Assumption. A suspicion. A suspicion. A suspicion. Yes. A suspicion. You can be so inconsiderate. A criticism. A criticism. You will probably forget our anniversary too. Man, this woman is toxic. A prediction. <laughs> a prediction. prediction. Okay. Good, it's a prediction. Does anybody like El Equipo Fas? Uh, no. All right. Okay. Ellos necesitan good predictions porque. <laughs> They never win. La calle de la amargura. Yes. Okay, so you will probably forget our, our anniversary too is a prediction. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. A demand. It's a a demand. demand. You must have wanted to break up with me. An assumption. an assumption. Okay, that's an assumption. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. A suggestion? Yes, a suggestion. Yes, yeah, a suggestion. Teacher, what is out? Ought to, a good question. Ought to is another way of saying you should. Oh, de. you should, but nobody uses ought to anymore, so it's okay to only use you should. But uh, I know the ought to is uh, uh, um, it's like when I say I have to. Yes, but that's why ought to is really disappearing from the map because nobody uses it anymore. Okay. Yes, es como decir vosotros. 
Yes, it exists, but nobody speaks like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, nobody speaks. Like that. Yes. Okay. Okay, so you know you ought to buy me flowers. What is it? A suggestion. A suggestion. Good. Number eight. It's okay. You must feel real sorry. An excuse. An excuse. A suggestion. That's okay. All right. We got them all. I know you. Okay, let's do this reading here. It says, how serious is plagiarism? Do you know what is plagiarism? Teacher, yeah. but, but uh, the, the reading is not corresponding to the, or the, the question, or the question not corresponding. It's true, article. it's true. Yes, maybe we'll, we'll, we will we will leave the reading for next week because maybe it's fixed. Okay. Yeah, maybe by next week it's fixed, I hope. Would you assume it? Assume it. Yes, I, I am assuming. <laughs> that okay. that is an assumption. That maybe maybe next week it will be fixed. You know, people that criticize the government or people that criticize ARENA or people that criticize FMLN, it's always on assumption. You know, like, I don't like Naive porque está robando mucho dinero. How much? Tres mil millones de dólares. Where do you see that? Ah, ahí dicen, oh, okay, that's an assumption then. You know, or um, like I said, Gabby, Gabby is not coming to class because maybe she's very busy in her business. And that is an assumption. Yeah. Okay. So yes, yes let's skip okay. the reading and we'll do that later. Okay, here it says listening. Now we're going to listen to the original part that we didn't listen at the beginning. So yeah. lis listen to the conversation, check the correct answer. One, mom, when did you get your first car? Well, by the time I was a junior in high school, I had gotten a part-time job so that I could buy a used car. But you won't let me get a part-time job. I know, but before I got my first job, I was really immature. You know, I should have spent more time trying to get good grades instead of trying to get a car. You didn't get good grades? Well, I almost didn't graduate at the end of my senior year. Luckily, a school counselor noticed what was happening. He said I'd be able to buy any kind of car I wanted after I finished college and got a good-paying job. So he helped you get your priorities straight. Yes. A diploma was more important than a car. Two. Now I understand why you won't let me get a job. Good. That's my boy. However, I'm still interested in hearing about what else you did or didn't do in high school. Do you have any other regrets? Well, if I'd been more serious about school, I wouldn't have taken classes like theater production. I should have taken more college-required classes. Do you mean like higher math classes? Exactly. And that's why I'm so concerned about the courses you choose. I want you to have no regrets when you graduate next year. Three. Gosh, Tess. Have you noticed how many coffee shops there are around campus these days? Well, Austin, there are at least five, and each one has a different atmosphere, lighting, furnishings. I don't know how they all stay in business. Sounds normal to me. In order to be successful, it's important to have all those things, plus great drinks and snacks. 
and it has to be different from the rest. I guess you're right. And don't forget good music. Yes, I agree. There's one place I like best. It's called Jazzy's, and they only play jazz music. And you like that? Sure. It's my favorite kind of music to study by. Four. How about you, Tess? Where do you go? Me? Well, I love the roasted bean because I always get a perfect latte. The roasted bean? Where's that? On College Avenue. It's the most popular coffee bar near campus because of its great mix of music. The most popular, huh? Yeah. And for it to stay that way, it needs to attract new customers. So let's go and I'll buy you a coffee, Austin. Uh, thanks, Tess, but I don't drink coffee. But you were... Okay, chai tea then. Let's go. Teacher, then your micro microphone is mute. I don't hear you. Can you hear me Your now? Microphone? Yes, okay, yes. yes. There you go. Okay. Yes. okay. Sorry about that. So it says before Patrick's mom finished high school, she didn't, uh, she almost didn't, almost graduate. didn't graduate. Why? She didn't, she, she didn't have a uh, good grades. Okay. Very good. She didn't have good grades. Number two, number two, if Patrick's mom had been more serious in high school, she would have taken higher level classes. Class. Very good. To establish a popular coffee bar, Tess and Austin agree it's important to play good music. Play good music. Very good. It's important to play good music. Good. Austin surprises Tess by saying he, he, he doesn't drink coffee. Doesn't drink coffee. That's true. Who doesn't who doesn't not drink coffee? Who doesn't drink coffee? Not me. You drink coffee? You don't drink coffee? Yes, I drink coffee. Three, two times a day. There is one religion that they don't uh, drink coffee. I don't know. Uh, Mormons. Mormons, yes, yes. I don't yes. know if, if, if there is a sin drinking coffee. <laughs> No, because I think I think the reason is because caffeine is a drug. Oh, okay. And, and it is bad for the body. Yes. I remember where I used to work before the lady who cleaned, the cleaning lady. Okay. She was, she, oh man, it was this big problem because she was a Mormon. And she had to make coffee for the people in the office but she refused she said no and everybody everybody said look i respect your religion no problem but everybody in the office drinks coffee and she still refused refused so i remember the manager what he did he told the secretary okay dehela you make the coffee right so when the when the cleaning lady realized that the secretary was making the coffee she would throw it away <laughs> and 
and then <laughs> yeah so that my the manager didn't tolerate and he says okay i'm sorry you are fired la despidió y se hizo un lado because she went to the Ministerio de Trabajo, que es libertad de religión. Oh, man, that's a big, big problem. Pero, in my, in my opinion, the company was right because, okay, you don't drink coffee? Okay, good. I respect that. But respect people that drink coffee. So, um, let's listen to part two. Ellen Walter probably won't be at the party because, let's listen to this. One. Okay, Ben, I think everything is ready for the party. What time did you tell everyone to show up? Oh, around 7.30 or 8. Great. Are Ellen and Walter coming? Well, I guess so. I sent Walter a text. Oh, no. Walter never checks his phone. You should have talked to him. I didn't really think about it. Texting is just more convenient for me. But you work with Ellen. You could have invited her at work. I'm sorry. I thought Walter would read the text message. I'm going to try to call them right now. Two. You know, Regina, I'm really fed up with Jessica. Why is that? She seems like a pretty nice person. In fact, I really enjoy working with her. She tells entertaining stories. Well, she does everything she can to impress the vice president. She's so polite to him, and she even baked him a chocolate cake on his birthday. Oh, I certainly wouldn't have done that. I think she's trying to get a promotion. Hmm, that's a very big assumption, Martin. Don't forget that she's nice to everyone, not just our boss. Ya va ese de metido, huh? I think she wants to get up. <laughs> okay, so number one, Ellen and Walter probably won't be at the party because... Ben sent ben a text, text message, message to Walter. Walter. He sent a text message to Walter. Very good. Martin thinks that Jessica shouldn't have... They, their boss, they, they a birthday cake. Good, let me see if we're... Okay, if we got them right, we are right. El Real Madrid always wins because? Because of the good uh, football <laughs> the, the bar. bar because, help, help yes, because of the referees and the bar that always <laughs> helps. Uh, Moises, for always you. Always to, he to help them. Yes, of course. Moises, for you, that is an assumption. For a Barcelona, that is a fact. Uh, yes, yes. It is an assumption. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Barcelona is out of the, of the Champions League. <laughs> what? In Madrid, too? No, no. Well, yeah, they still have a possibility. It is, it, in fact, it is uh, the, the today win, uh, have it in the next uh, round, in the quarter final. Well, and, and, and maybe they will win because Florentino likes to pay good money. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I think that PS or by Yeah. Uh, PSG is, it's, I think that's the best soccer team in at this moment. Yes. But I think that uh, a good final could be Bayern Munich again versus PSG. Oh man, that, that would be awesome. That and would be great. PSG in this moment can, can win. Yes, it's true. Yes. Yes. Okay, class, I will see you tomorrow. If we finish tomorrow, maybe we can do an activity like listening to music, music comprehension, okay? 
Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have a great night. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.